please subscribe and you can download this code from description below. Certainly. In Python, you can use the collections.counter class to accumulate both positive and negative values. The counter class is part of the collections module and provides a convenient way to count the occurrences of elements in a collection, such as a list or a string. It can handle both positive and negative values. Here's a tutorial with a code example. The collections.counter class in Python is a versatile tool for counting occurrences of elements in a collection. While it is commonly used for counting positive occurrences, it is important to note that counter can also handle negative values. This tutorial will demonstrate how to use counter to accumulate both positive and negative values. To get started, Import the counter class from the collections module. Next, create a counter object. You can pass an iterable, example a list, to initialize the counter. This example will use a list containing both positive and negative values. You can access the counts of individual elements using square bracket notation. To update the counter with new values, you can use the update method. This method takes an iterable as an argument and updates the counts accordingly. Counter supports arithmetic operations such as addition and subtraction. You can add two counters together or subtract one counter from another. The collections.counter class in Python is a powerful tool for counting occurrences of elements, and it can handle both positive and negative values. By following the steps in this tutorial, you can effectively use counter to accumulate and manipulate counts of elements, whether they are positive, negative, or both. Chat GPT